So uh, yeah, it's great to be here today. I'm actually very happy I made it. So uh, do I need to keep this to nine minutes or am I allowed to go a little bit past? All right. So <laughs> oh, I get all the time in the world. Game mechanics suck without narrative. All right, so what do I mean by that? Uh, is there a clicker? First of all, I think we have to kind of talk a tiny bit about what is gamification. So before everybody here just is like, oh no, why are we getting into this? We're at a gamification event. I think it's important to talk about because I don't think gamification is practice. What is it? It's an observation that games are extraordinarily successful at creating engagement and triggering flow. And on top of that, then maybe, okay, well, maybe we need a little bit more. I mean, this is a gamification conference. We're talking about practice and all of that. So I'd say it's a decision to design experiences based on a narrative in a similar manner as we would design a game with the goal of achieving similar levels of interactivity and engagement. So one of the key words here is interactivity. Another one is engagement. And I would like to just kind of talk again about, okay, what's engagement? How does this all play in? Well, I think one of the reasons why game mechanics suck without narrative is that engagement isn't also a standalone issue. It should not be a goal in and of itself. We have to stop thinking of it as, OK, hey, yeah, I'm going to build this awesome app, and it's going to be amazing because it's going to engage all the things. OK, with what? And why? And how? We're going to add badges so people continuously go in the app and are in there for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. To what end? How does that actually help your experience? How does that actually help get your narrative across? So instead of thinking about engagement as, OK, this is the end goal, instead we have to think of it in line with your goal, in line with your narrative in line with where psychologically you want your users to be. For example, let's take a carpooling app. I worked on one of these in the past. So their problem, three drivers are on the, uh, three drivers are on the road, no passengers in the car, three cars there, bad for the environment. Then we want, what do we want to get to? We want to get to one driver on the road with two passengers and hopefully one car on the road. So what did they do? They're like, you know what, all this game stuff, competition. Let's build in a competition system with rewards for drivers who take passengers. Well, what do you think that actually ended up doing? It had people way more interested in being drivers and only wanting to take passengers. So what did we get out of this allegedly engagement thing? I mean, they were engaged. Like People were like, OK, yeah, I really want to get these point systems, and I really want to get this reward because I get a better parking spot. Perfect. But you weren't actually getting what you wanted from your narrative, which was less cars on the road. You rewarded a behavior. You created engagement. But you got an outcome that, well, didn't really work for anybody. So engagement is only a win when it's in line with your narrative. So to go very briefly through interacting with the narrative, because this is really what games are all about, is okay, you know, you have maybe something more like a movie where you're watching a narrative, a narrative is being communicated to you. In games, I like to say, you get to communicate back with them because they're in interactive environments. And now we could go through a whole bunch of different charts that I use, but we're not going to. <laughs> Because that would take way too long. So instead, we're just going to go through a couple uh, highlight aspects of it. So with narrative, a lot of people get a bit confused when I say this. I'm like, OK, look, what's the narrative of your experience? Let's take the carpooling app. They say, uh, we don't have a narrative. We don't want to have a narrative because that takes away from the real aspect of it. But it doesn't. The narrative is just purely the story you're trying to tell through your app. They had a story. Their story was, we need to get less people on the road because it's damaging the environment. And also, it could be easier for you. But you have to think about this when you're designing is, OK, what is it that you're really telling your user, hey, this is what you should be doing through us? And then 
what gamification, game design, anything like that is going to be, is it's about the environment you're communicating this narrative in. How do you do this? What's important about this environment being interactive that you're actually going to build a digital experience about it? So a couple things to think about briefly. Interactivity is a big one from games. Motivation, which I think you heard a lot of talk about yesterday, also very important. Influence, also incredibly important when you start to think of interactivity. How can someone actually influence your environment? Can they influence the outcome? And finally, play. And I think that's where we see in gamification a lot of balance and dynamic and a little bit of confusion sometimes as well is there's a difference between interactive environments that games are and their use of play in some cases. So in summary, because I think I'm running out of time, you always should be careful and be conscious of challenges and negotiations. Now, I think some of you had seen the talk I did uh, at a conference last year where I talked about the hero's journey, even though I've heard that's, uh, that's more dead today. But uh, you have to think about the challenges and negotiation that your user is going to go through in your app. And this is why knowing what your narrative is is so incredibly important, because you have to think through, OK, what do I need to give this person in this experience to help them get to where I think they want to be in the end? And design your experience thinking from that manner, rather than just, OK, hey, we're going to do all these fun things. I mean, take an ATM. How many of you would like to have to play a game of Pac-Man before you got your money out? <laughs> some, of you, some of you actually, but you know, most people don't want to because the motivation's there, the mindset is there that what they really just want is a very good experience with the ATM machine. So be careful that you aren't creating new challenges that people really aren't going to respond well to in order to get through your experience. And also, challenge your expectations. Don't forget that, and I think we talked a bit about iterative design yesterday, is you know, challenge what you think. You have to get out there and test, but always be thinking, OK, why do I think this is going to work like this? Why do I think someone would like to do this? Why do I think somebody needs this? And try to push your design further by thinking again, how does this come back to the narrative? Why do I need badges? Why am I going to use AR? You know, Pokemon Go was successful with our, uh, AR, augmented reality, because it fit with its narrative. I mean, think about it. It wasn't about walking. It wasn't the gamification trying to get people to walk more. They just took a narrative that needed a technology in an interactive environment to allow you to walk. It fit, and that's what people liked about it. Also, some other reasons as well, but that was a big component of it, because the technology fit the narrative. And finally, creating value and meaning is going to create motivation. If your app cannot convey the value and the meaning to the user or create that about your narrative, it's not going to work. It just isn't. Because people have to understand why they're doing something. Your environment is a conversation with them. You're saying to them, hey, consider this. Think about this. What about that? And I'd like you to do this. And their interaction is that conversation back with you and your environment, which is why feedback is so important, as we all know from gamification. But all of this with your narrative, all of this about creating engagement, comes back to this value and meaning. Thanks.